Hello, my name is Steve Van Vliet with Washington State University. I'm the Regional Extension Specialist in Agriculture and Natural Resources. And today what I want to talk to you is about using a plant press to identify a different plant or weed species. When you go out and collect a plant to be identified, it would be best if the sample comes back where it has its roots, its leaves, its seeds, and its flowers, if all possible. If you have a weed species that you need to identify or some plant, you want to make sure that that plant is fresh. So collect it, keep it in a plastic bag, or put it in the refrigerator so it doesn't desiccate or mold. Now let's talk about how to press plants. This is a commercial plant press. This plant press costs quite a bit, but it, you can also make a much simpler version yourself at a very, very low cost. The first component is a slatted piece of wood. The slatted piece of wood is for air circulation to help dry out the sample. The next portion is cardboard, and the cardboard is used to also use to suck it, take out some of the moisture of the plant. I like to put two pieces of cardboard down on the slatted piece of wood. Then you have what's called blotter paper. Blotter paper is to take most of the moisture out of the sample itself. Then you'll use a piece of newspaper. That piece of newspaper will be where you put your plant sample. So on the, the weed sample or, that we obtained, we'll put that in the center of the press so that we get the most compaction, nice evenly press of that plant. We want to make sure some of the leaves are up and some of them are down. We do want to make notations of what we see, that, what characters we see of this plant. So such as we have yellow flowers. We have alternate leaves. We also need to know where we collected it, what location we collected it, and what date we collected it. This can give us an idea of the habitat where that plant specimen is likely to occur. So once we have that on our paper and some of the labels about it, we then fold over our newspaper with our plant in the center. We put on another piece of blotter paper and we put on another piece of cardboard and so forth and go on and on with more specimens of plants if we have more specimens. I had some other plants additionally that I was able to press at an earlier time so I can include them on here. On the top I like to have couple pieces of cardboard and of course you have the top slatted piece of wood. Then you have your completed plant press. You then want to strap the straps around that so you can keep that secured to dry out the plant. And the reason we do this is so we're getting the moisture out of the plant and we may have to actually come back in two, three days, maybe even a week if it's a large specimen and tighten down those straps to dry it out. And that is your completed plant press. In about a week or so forth, you can check on that. The plant should be dry, ready to mount on our bearing paper so that we can get it identified.